icy windshields, blowing snow, sub-zero temperatures. Some of us spend months each year battling frigid cold. Others never get to see snow. Some travel to and from home on the water. Others fight a daily rush hour at slow speed. But no matter who we are, how we live our lives is often determined by the place we call home. Location, climate, and natural resources influence our choices, and they help us understand how to study a culture. What is a culture? A culture is a learned behavior acquired by individuals as members of a social group. There are several universal elements to examine that help us understand and define a culture, including geography and natural resources, social organizations, beliefs and values, and economic activities. Members of a culture often share certain beliefs, morals, customs, and traditional practices. In most cases, they also share a common language. The sum of the elements that unite a group of people is called a culture. This lesson will examine how the geography of a region helps to create or inform the culture of the people who live there. Geography is the scientific study of the Earth's surface. There are three important factors that determine geography, including topography, climate, and natural resources. These elements influence how people adapt to their surroundings. Topography includes the physical features of the land, such as the location and depth of bodies of water, the elevation or height of the land, and both natural and human-made features of a region that are defining or specific landmarks. Natural topographical features are those elements of the landscape created as part of nature, including ice fields, mountains, deserts, rainforests, and rivers. The topography of a region forces people to adapt. Topography can have a profound influence on how people choose to farm or raise their livestock. For example, cultures that live in mountainous terrain, such as northern Ethiopia, still need to produce food. But they may use different techniques for plowing or irrigation than those used in America's Midwest. In both nations, successful farming may require irrigation systems to make better use of existing rainfall or to offset persistent drought. Human-made topographical features include roads, bridges, and dams. Roads, bridges, and dams are engineered and built by people in order to adapt to or benefit from geographical influences. A bridge or dam dramatically changes how a culture uses a waterway. While a dam helps a culture generate electricity, a bridge can impact a culture by making it easier to trade with people on the other side of the river. Because a bridge creates interaction and communication between people from both sides, it may also facilitate the formation of different types of social organizations. Economic need or consumer desire can also inspire or force people to alter a region's topographical features. A coastline can be reinforced with rocks to offset erosion and a road of any kind can provide access for trade. In many drier regions devoted to agricultural production, irrigation systems can offset insufficient rainfall. Some rely on modern technology and tapping into underground wells, while some rely on collecting water in reservoirs and releasing it as needed. In some parts of the world, topography has been altered by development, including building homes. Construction techniques vary from one nation to another, but the need for shelter is universal. 
Some topographical alterations damage the environment. For example, draining a wetland for development can destroy wildlife habitat or contribute to flooding. By contrast, some alterations can also repair ecosystems that were damaged in the past. The climate of a region also plays an important role in understanding a culture. Climate is the average condition of the weather over a long period of time, with an emphasis on temperature and precipitation averages. An area's climate can impact economic activities, the types of clothing people wear, or the style and size of shelter people need to survive the heat, rain, wind, or cold. Climate can also impact individual choices around lifestyle and recreation. In the Arctic cold of Sweden's northern Lapland region, some of the indigenous Sami people still hunt reindeer for their survival. They use the meat for food and use the hide of the animal to create warm clothing. The animal hide is also used to reinforce shelter or block the wind. By contrast, some of the aboriginal people in Australia's outback spend considerable time trying to find both food and fresh water. The heat can be brutal, and both shelter and clothing are designed to protect them from the unforgiving sun. Even the spiritual beliefs of a culture can be influenced by certain geographic elements. It may be reflected in the places and ways in which people pray, or in the structures people build to acknowledge or pay homage to their spirits, prophets, gods, or God. Climate and topography also influence the production of goods and services. Some land may be well suited for development of forest products, for agricultural use, or for mining, oil drilling, or new forms of power generation. These elements are known as natural resources. Natural resources are elements from the earth that can be developed and used by humans in their economic production. Minerals, trees, water, wind, and animals are all examples of natural resources. Members of a culture utilize natural resources to meet the subsistent needs of the population. Subsistent needs include a person's basic requirements of food, water, shelter, and clothing. Subsistent needs are necessary for survival. People often engage in economic activities depending on the natural resources available to them. Minerals, such as coal, iron, or copper, can be mined and used by the culture or sold and exported to other cultures. Some cultures import the natural resources they need for production. Bodies of water are part of a region's topography, but they are also natural resources. Water can support industries such as electrical power or fishing and can help facilitate the transport of goods through shipping. No single culture has all the natural resources it needs. For that reason, many cultures trade natural resources for money or other necessary items. Whether it's winemaking in southern France, manufacturing solar power in Wisconsin, or making dyes and prints in India, people around the world are adapting to a global economy by using the resources they have available in the areas where they live. Some work is solitary, but some involves a team of people in the production process. In some instances, Family, friends, and neighbors form a community or staff that works together as a supportive social organization. While some people may perceive natural resources as abundant, they're actually in limited supply. When resources such as forests are not over-harvested, 
they can replenish themselves over time. New trees can be planted for future use. These are known as renewable resources. In some countries, such as the United States, logging companies are required by law to replant trees to replace the ones they've harvested. Other natural resources, such as coal, oil, and natural gas, are known as non-renewable resources. These can only be harvested once and are depleted upon use. Once non-renewable resources are depleted, people are forced to find new ways to meet their needs. The supply of available resources often dictates how the population is spread out over the land. When the geography of a region will support it, people often cluster together in cities or villages. In some cases, it can be easier and more convenient to live in cities. Employment and housing may be more available and cities are frequent centers of social activity. Cities are often located near bodies of water or where trade routes have been established with other cultures. In agricultural areas, people often live further apart because it requires more land to support agriculture and livestock. There are many different geographical factors to consider when learning how to study a culture. To recap, Geography is the scientific study of the Earth's surface. The geographical factors that influence culture include topography, climate, and natural resources. People in a culture usually adapt to the geography of the area in which they live. Where people choose to live is largely determined by the topography and climate and the available natural resources. People meet their subsistent needs through economic activities which are strongly influenced by the region's geography. Understanding how the geography of a region impacts the way people live and the influence on the economy will help greatly in learning how to study the various cultures of the world.